There are stories of loss and sadness, but there are also incredible stories of hope. And for those of you who were with us two years ago, there was a young man who I asked to speak at the opening ceremony called Cain Blackburn, and he spoke to us then about his own story. I'm delighted to welcome him back here tonight to talk to you about what's happened in the last couple of years and the role that medical research has, pay, has played in his life. So welcome, Cain Blackburn. Hi, everyone. Just get set. It's a real honour to be asked to speak here to all of you tonight. Um, the last time I was on stage was two years ago, um, speaking at the opening ceremony. For those that don't know my story, um, it started on a sunny summer's morning in 2015. Um, I was out with the family getting a bit of breakfast when I got a call from the GP asking me to go to the uh, emergency room. It's um, not a call that you expect, but at the time, I thought it, it wouldn't be much. Um, quite quickly, I was diagnosed with a blood cancer with a 30% survival rate. Um, I'd just had my 26th birthday. The treatment was quite tough. Uh, it was a stem cell transplant in isolation for six weeks. In my hospital room, I can still see it today. Uh, I had my bed, my TV, um, and on the left was this window and in front of the window was an exercise bike. So the challenge each day was to get on the exercise bike for as long as you could. Um, it wasn't very much, but just it was the daily challenge. Little did I know it would take me to this event here today. So I've done a couple of rides. My first ride was in 2016. Some of you might remember that one. We had a lot of rain and some hail. It was a tough day. Um, for me, it was my six-month anniversary of being out of hospital um, for a recovery that normally takes about two years. Uh, the, the, the second year was... Oh, cheers. <laughs> 27, 2017 was actually probably one of the proudest sort of moments on this ride. Um, I was a bit fitter, um, I was riding with my uncle Andy, um, and before we knew it, we were cruising down, I was, I was leading out this pack and we had looked over my shoulder and we had about 10 riders all sort of drafting us. Um, and yeah, it was just a, a, a special moment for me. With, with, with that yellow flag flying. Um, so yeah, just another good Perkins sort of moment. Um, last year, weirdly, was actually one of my tougher rides. Um, I, on the first day, I hurt my knee, um, and I didn't really know how to deal with it. Um, during my recovery, I'd always been quite careful not to injure myself because I didn't want to spend any time off the bike. Um, riding was so important through that journey. Um, so finishing that ride was, was just a really proud moment as well. Then, going off script a little bit, was uh, today. We're only halfway through, um, but... Just get my dad to raise his arm for us, give us a bit of a wave. So I was actually riding with a, a lot more of the family this year, um, and we're riding with my dad. Uh, he started his own cancer journey only this year, sadly, but um, he started the ride with us. So a bit of a story of his, he, he had only ridden um, 6Ks, the longest ride was 6Ks before today, so he was going to come along, <laughs> and um, yeah. So it was going to be really special. Well, it was really special. He, he started the ride with us, and it was uh, just a beautiful moment. Um, the goal was the first 10 k's, which was going to be really good. Um, he got through to the first stop at the 20 k mark, so that was that was awesome.
Then he just wanted to sort of cruise for another extra couple of Ks. You know, he'd already, a bit of a stretch target, already done the goal. Um, so he let us, he asked us to sort of keep on riding with the group to allow us to finish. We didn't want to get all picked up. So he was just going to cruise a bit more. Um, when we got to lunch, we got a message that he had gotten to the 40K mark. And we were like, oh, wow, OK. That's crazy, but you know that was that was a huge achievement, and that was going to be it. Um, then at our next stop, we got some news that yeah, oh, well, no, no, he's going to get to lunch. So that was huge, 60 k's. When we arrived here, we actually found out that he was still riding out there, coming up to the to that fifth pit stop. Um, so he kept on riding and got in this afternoon, so. <laughs> from, from 6Ks to 110. Not bad. And I have to give a special thank you to the uh, Minimoke crew. Yeah. They, uh, they helped us for the last two kilometres, just hanging there, looking after us the whole way, guiding us, cheering us. So just give it up for them, please. All the volunteers. Yeah. So I just... I just can't thank this event enough. Um, everyone that's involved, the riders, the volunteers, uh, Perkins themselves, thank you for everything that you've done to make a difference and change the odds for so many people. Medical research is really important. Uh, the funding can do so much good. For my own experience, when I was in hospital getting the transplant, I, I asked the doctors sort of what, what was the sort of chemotherapy and, and what I was most surprised to s sort of learn was that many of the chemotherapies that I was on were less than five years old. Um, what this meant was that the, through medical research, the, the drugs were becoming more and more effective and less and less side effects. If I had had been needed treatment only five years earlier, the process would have been very different it was still probably some of the toughest months of my life. Um, and so, you know, that's why we all, we all ride, to ensure that medical research can go on uninterrupted, so that people like you and me can have the best chance of survival. So, to the riders here tonight, thanks for your efforts, thanks for your fundraising. Just, it's just something truly important, thank you. To the cancer sufferers that have safely navigated your own journey, well done and never underestimate your achievements. And to the supporters, the families and the friends, the whole support group, yours is definitely the hardest job of all and we love you for it. And finally, to those living with cancer today, in the midst of your own journey. Like many here, we wish we could take the burden off your shoulders, even just a little bit. But if you're anything like me, you know that it's such a solo journey, even with the best support. So my hope today is that this amazing weekend, with all the volunteers, the Perkins staff, the riders of all abilities, the friends and the families, all here for a good cause, just gives you that little bit extra strength for your own cancer battle. Thank you.